Out of the Pocket, Football, Fatherhood, and College Game Day Saturdays, Kirk Curb Street. Congratulations on the book. Why and uh, and and what are there? I guess the two questions uh, well, about you with this book. It's it, you know it's it's not it's not just football or my broadcast uh, journey that I've been on. It's you know it's a little bit deeper than that. We Gene Wojciechowski, who's a, a friend of mine, and, and you know him well. He mm-hmm. works at ESPN on Game Day and a great author and has written several books. He approached me and just wanted to just kind of tell my story. He knows me well enough to know about, um, you know, my background. I came from a kind of a dysfunctional family and, and, um, parents divorced when I was eight. It, it, it took a effect on, on me quite a bit. My dad was my hero. You know, he played at Ohio state. He was a captain and I grew up loving Ohio state and he was a big part of that. And then at eight years old, he was, he was gone and, um, kind of out of my life for, for a while and remarried a, a woman and, and um, kind of immersed himself into that family, and he was in and out. And um, and you know, I, I didn't have you know some kids go through divorce; they have resentment, and they have anger and hostility. Turn to drugs sometimes. For me, it was more of an kind of an emptiness. Just didn't really have the relationship that I wanted, and that continued throughout most of my life. Um, even when I had kids myself, it was just kind of a strange deal. So it, it just Gene talked me into becoming. I guess vulnerable for a guy that's incredibly introverted and, and shy and not comfortable in talking about how I feel about things. This this is one way to kind of get things, I guess, off your chest is to write a book about it. So there's a lot there about being a son and then eventually becoming a father. And by no means am I acting like I have all the answers. If anything, it's the opposite. I'm just kind of telling you about how I'm trying to learn as I go here and you know, I ask my boys all the time because I didn't have a dad at home. I always ask them if I'm doing an okay job, you know, because, you know, you, you, you get into some big decisions as a dad and you just do the best you can. And um, I guess more than anything, it's a book that uh, I hope resonates with some folks that maybe have been through some similar things. And, and um, I don't know, I just, I just thought it with Gene, it felt comfortable and, and opening up. So th- that's, that's not the whole book, but that's a big portion of it. And uh, then we get into just my journey, which is kind of an anomaly as just a pretty solid Big Ten quarterback. I wasn't like Des, didn't win a Heisman, didn't win all, you know, wasn't all American, didn't go to Super Bowls. And yet um, how I got to the position that I'm in uh, on, on ABC with Chris calling the biggest games of the week and calling national championships and been on game day for 26 years. 26. How in the world did I get here? <laughs> you know, sometimes I look, I ask myself that. And so I kind of talk about, how that came about and, and how, uh, you know, that's something I never take for granted. You know, day doesn't go by that I don't take, uh, I think about how fortunate I am to, to have the position that I have in, in, in uh, broadcasting and especially at ESPN and covering football. Beautifully put, Kirk. I mean, there's nothing more personal than writing a book and the fact that you put yeah. so much personal stuff in there. It's something that you're going to, you're going to love. You know, I'm sure you get a lot of plaudits from people who come up to you um, talking about what you do and how you do it. Anybody comes up to you says, "I loved your book." That's just going to be the greatest thing. Period. End of story. I can't imagine. And I speak as somebody who, you, who whose book can be gotten for one cent right now, probably somewhere. Um, <laughs> don't look it up, Chris. You can get it for a cent. Stand by. He's already saying, "Hold on." Uh, it's just again beautiful, and 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 I hope that your sharing has uh, improved things for you, Kirk. Yeah, I mean, it's still hard for me. Um, it just the way, I think it's the way you're wired. You know, it's just one of those things. I was a kid, you probably the opposite of you. You seem to be very comfortable in your skin. You know, when you were a kid, if, if they asked you to get up and give a speech, I would pass. Like, I would just say, no, thanks. I'll take a zero. And uh teacher would be like, um, it's 25% of your grade, your final grade. I'm like, I'm good. You know, you can go ahead, go to the next person. Um, so to go from that to, you know, working in, in TV and on a, on a you know, national broadcast uh, every week is definitely – Not what I expected to do. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.